This girl is grieving over her grandfather's body. It's distressing to see. There are clear signs of torture. <laughs> when the Myanmar military entered their village in the Kenny township, she fled with her father. Her grandfather stayed, believing his age would protect him. <laughs> This man told us what state his body was found in. He can't show his face for fear of reprisal. More bodies were uncovered, close to where her grandfather was found, buried in shallow mass graves. Twelve bodies in total in ZP Twin Village. Some mutilated. The Myanmar military carried out the mass killings. They happened in the district of Kenny. Four villages were targeted over several weeks in July. This region has been a stronghold of opposition to the military, who seized power in a coup. At first, there were peaceful demonstrations. The security forces responded with a brutal crackdown. The movement then turned into an armed resistance, a civilian militia fighting to restore democracy. As the conflict intensified, villagers in Kenny fled their homes, some taking cover in the forest. Soldiers followed them. Collective punishment then carried out. The largest mass killing took place in Yin village. We have blurred their bodies as they're too gruesome to show. They're so badly tortured, they're almost unrecognizable. But the man filming finds people he knows. At great risk, our team interviewed a number of eyewitnesses. For their safety, we're hiding their identity. Their stories are all similar. Mingling 
This man managed to escape. This woman lost her brother. I put our evidence to the military spokesperson, General Zhu Min Tun. We spoke to numerous witnesses who described the same thing, that soldiers took away men, farmers, locals who were not involved in politics or fighting, and they tortured them for hours till their death. The United Nations is investigating the mass killings in Kenya. It's part of a case that could eventually see the generals face charges of crimes against humanity in the hope that future generations, those left behind, will get some kind of justice.